My name is Aliyah Ami, interning with Rapco Media from Albany State University, majoring in mass communications. Earlier today, as part of her Fight for Our Freedoms college trip, Vice President Kamala Harris touched down in Metro Atlanta. Prior to noon, the Vice President arrived at Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport and proceeded to Morehouse College. She will meet with students from HBCUs like Morehouse, Spelman, Clark Atlanta, and Morris Brown. According to White House officials, Harris will speak on issues like voting rights, gun safety, reproductive freedom, and climate change. On the Vice President's month-long college trip, Morehouse will serve as the fifth destination in an effort to turn out young voters on important issues. Harris has visited several universities already, including Hampton University in Virginia, North Carolina A&T State University, Reading Area Community College in Pennsylvania, and IBEW Local 743, where she interacted with Apprentice Program participants. We're about to head over to Shaquez Gray, who interviewed an Albany State student, Ahmad Moss, about his college life experience at an HBCU. Hello, my name is Shaquez Gray, a graduating senior here at Albany State University, majoring in mass communications. Currently interning with Route Code Media. Today, I had the pleasure to interview a student here on campus just about what the college life experience has been for them. So tell me about your upbringing. Well, my name is Ahmad, you know, um I'm a graduate senior here at Albany State University. I major in biology, and you know, I'm from Savannah. It really wasn't pieces of cream all the time, you know. It wasn't ice cream. Sometimes we had, it was melted. Mm -hmm. So it was like, it was, I won't say hard, because it's nothing that I really couldn't like make it out of, but right. it was challenging, if right. you know what I'm saying. Right. Um, lost a couple of friends. Really what inspired me to be here today because they didn't get a chance to see it. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm just doing something different, um, very different than what's really going on back home. Okay. So why did you choose ASU? Well, I chose Albany State. Uh, I chose Albany State really because I really wanted to get away from home. Because mm -hmm. I could have went to Savannah State, mm -hmm. but I wanted to get away from home, but at the same time, I wanted to be close. Right. So Albany, this HBCU, I don't know, it kind of stuck with me, bro, and I'm glad I chose the decision because I love our mistake. Right, right, right. So do we all, I do too. Um, what is your most memorable moment on campus? Uh, most memorable moment? Um, I don't know, bro. I had a lot of, I had a lot, like a lot of good times on campus. Mm -hmm. But I would probably say I had to choose my most memorable. Like, it had to be freshman year. It had to be freshman year. I'm thinking back to freshman year. Mm -hmm. um, you ever had to ride a shuttle? Yes. I had to ride a shuttle from east to west all the time. All the time. Bro. All the time, bro. I was on count. It was one time. It was bad. I rode the shuttle over here. Mm -hmm. It was the last shuttle home, bro. Couldn't get back to west, bro. No. They about to the car. I was looking crazy as crap. No. I was looking for you I had to do that day? I, 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 had, to, um, I had to Uber home. Okay. And I was the first one. I had no money. Right. So I had to call mama. All of us. <laughs> man, that was really bad, man. All right. So what approach academically would you say you had freshman year compared to now? Now I go hard. Mm -hmm. I go hard. Freshman year, I would plan. You know, because the classes were kind of easy, so I thought I could have just went easy on the courses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not, that's not what I was supposed to do. But see, now my approach to it is I give it and I make it stick. I go study. Then I wasn't doing none of that. I was just getting the tennis and leaving. Mm -hmm. Right. So, what does college life mean to you? College life? Mm -hmm. I would say college life um, is you know, it's educational. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I want to say physical too, emotional too, because you meet some of your best friends here, you know? Right, right. People that will be your life for a long time, for a lifetime. Um, the connections you make here, it's not just all just about going to school and going to your room. It's about coming up, you know, being out, being social. College life is amazing. I mean, might not everybody, everyone say college might not be for them, but I feel like everybody should at least try to oh, do it. Yeah, because. Yeah, give it at least like once a give, semester. Give, give, give it a shot, man, because mm -hmm. you never know. You never know. Okay. And is time management an understatement? Yes. That's an understatement? Yes. Because, like I said, like on freshman year, bro, it was a lot of stuff you'd be out here to do. 
you'll get sidetracked on what you're really here for. Mm -hmm. But you can be like just so in tune on what you're here for and forget to make those connections outside of it. Right. So time management right, is very important. I mean, it's pretty downplayed. Um, people don't understand that much about how serious it is to manage your time here. Because mm -hmm. that's like you know, be a freshman year, that might say a long time. You look back, you're like, I did four years. Four years. I'm not a right, right. So all my, okay. Right. And what would be the best advice you would give to an incoming freshman? Um, if you think about further education after this, mm -hmm. your GPA matters. Mm -hmm. Don't think just because you start out with a 4.0 mm -hmm. that you don't have a 4.0 mm -hmm. You should still work. You still like put the work in to become great because become successful. Because freshman year, bro, you mess up freshman year, bro. Right. You almost mess up the last three years. Right, that's like the foundation. That's the foundation all. of. You feel the degree, right? right. The freshman year, so I would most definitely say take advantage of freshman year, meet people, have fun, but get them in the books because this that's really the most important year. Mm -hmm. That every single year. Okay. And lastly, um, how is your mental health? Wonderful. Um, I want to just I'm not just all you know too jolly, but I give it from scale of one to ten. I give it like a seven, mm -hmm. seven eight. You know, I'm not perfect. Going to stuff, my family got to stuff recently, um, best in the family, stuff like that, like better illness stuff. So, but like, me personally, I let go and let God, bro. So, I said I had a good eight. Eight? I had a good eight, experience, oh, yeah. Out of that eight out of ten, how do you cope, you know, with their, the mental health? Oh, I cope. I keep good people around me. Okay. I keep the good company. Um, It's really the relaxing, you know, like it. I'm doing work, I go feel me, go hang with my company mm -hmm. and it's just relaxing and it put me in a better headspace than being in the room. Right. So it's like it's myself, you know. Right. So I just keep the people around me, um, keep the vibes going. And pray. Okay. That's all you can do is pray. That's all you can do. Well I just wanna tell you, man, I appreciate you for taking a couple time with me. Oh no, man, no problem. Sure. My name is Shaquez Gray, here with Rap Code Media. I hope you have a great day. September is National Recovery Month, and Aspire Behavioral Health has one of the largest peer workforces in the state of Georgia. Our recovery focus agency believes in the voice of the peer. By that we mean that more than 10% of our staff have lived experience in recovery from substance use disorder and or mental health challenges. There are stories of experience, strength, and hope at every level. If you or someone you know is seeking recovery as a lifestyle, please reach out to us at 229-430-4140. Recovery is real. Here at O'Neill's Consulting and Training Services, our team focus is to walk with our clients every step of the way to accomplish your financial goals. We provide several accounting and advisory services, starting with financial statement preparation, personal and business taxes, payroll, and workforce development classes. O'Neill's Consulting and Training Services allows you, our client, to measure your success by seeing results. Contact us today to set up an appointment. O'Neill's Consulting and Training Services, accomplishing your needs together. Deputies from the Harrelson County Sheriff's Office were sent to Woodland Circle yesterday morning on September 25th in response to a stabbing. Upon their arrival, Deputy John Henderson and Sergeant Lee Boulder were met by a distressed complaint who said that her son stabbed her fiancé. The complaint told deputies that the physical altercation started after her kid overheard her fiancé voice his disliking for him. She was visibly disturbed and unable to provide much information. As a result, there was an altercation in the master bedroom during which her kid is said to have begun hitting the fiancé. At first, the complaint thought it was merely a physical fight, but then she noticed a knife. The complaint herself was hurt during the commotion. The attacker was identified as Dylan McCleskey. The victim had many stab wounds to his head and shoulder, so the deputies worked with medical personnel to determine that the victim needed to be taken to the hospital right away. Following a thorough investigation, Sergeant Bowman issued a warrant for Dylan James McCleskey for aggravated assault. Later on in the day, McCleskey was captured by the Tallapoosa Police Department, who then took him to the Harrelson County Detention Center. We'll be right back after a message from our sponsors. Here at O'Neill's Consulting and Training Services, our team focus is to walk with our clients every step of the way to accomplish your financial goals. We provide several accounting and advisory services, starting with financial statement preparation, personal and business taxes, payroll, and workforce development classes. 
O'Neill's Consulting and Training Services allows you, our client, to measure your success by seeing results. Contact us today to set up an appointment. O'Neill's Consulting and Training Services, accomplishing your needs together. IK Medical is a credentialed laboratory service provider for both insured and uninsured clients. We provide COVID testing along with vaccinations and boosters. Both DOT, non-DOT, preoccupational physicals and testing services are reliable with turnaround times to meet the needs of our clients. Our professional staff are passionate when it comes to providing high quality client care, even when we must go the extra mile. Contact IK Medical Diagnostic Service today at 229-405-1748 or visit our website. It's our business to meet your needs. Hello and welcome back to Rapco Media. I'm Daimini Keelan, your lifestyle reporter, and today we have an interesting story. Singer-songwriter Chris Brown is going through a $71 million lawsuit dealing with a dog attack involving his former housekeeper, where she states that the dog, named Hades, was literally tearing off large chunks of skin from her face and arms. It is said that Chris took the dog to have it euthanized in order to destroy evidence. The trial is said to be in December of this year. And yet he is in another lawsuit, and this time another fellow singer and songwriter, The Dream, is involved. According to legal documents obtained by TheBlast.com, states that City National Bank is suing Chris Brown over unpaid loans. They are saying that the two were given the loan in order to invest into two Popeye's locations. It states that as of February 17, 2023, the borrower and guarantors owe two million one hundred and forty thousand nine hundred and one and seventy four cents in unpaid principles and interest. Chris is named as person, personal guarantor, which basically means he's responsible for the unpaid loans. The lawsuit allegedly stems from Georgia, but the bank filed a case in Los Angeles since that is where he resides. I'm Diamond Keelan, and we will be right back after a message from our sponsors. When it comes to uprooted tree service, I can always count on Warren to get the job done. Here at O'Neill's Consulting and Training Services, our team focus is to walk with our clients every step of the way to accomplish your financial goals. We provide several accounting and advisory services, starting with financial statement preparation, personal and business taxes, payroll and workforce development classes. O'Neill's Consulting and Training Services allows you, our client, to measure your success by seeing results. Contact us today to set up an appointment. O'Neill's Consulting and Training Services, accomplishing your needs together. According to authorities, two adults and two adolescents were arrested for breaking into automobiles by the Valdosta Police Department with the aid of a K-9 unit from the Lowness County Sheriff's Office. A resident contacted 911 on Saturday shortly before 1 a.m. to report seeing four individuals breaking into cars, and the police soon arrived at the apartments in the 1500 block of East Park Avenue. According to the report, the caller also provided a comprehensive description of the suspect's attire and mentioned that one seemed to be carrying a pistol. The suspects fled as an officer arrived on the site and saw them, setting off a brief foot pursuit. The 18-year-olds, Philip Chisholm, Alonzo Eugene Shelley, and a 15-year-old minor were detained without incident, according to the police. Officers found evidence on the three suspects that linked them to the thefts. Later, a K-9 unit arrived to help police locate the fourth suspect. The 16-year-old male was located after the K-9 track to a wooded location. Officers searched the area and discovered the firearm. After being taken to the Lowness County Jail, Chisholm and Shelley were both charged with entering a vehicle with the purpose to steal, a felony, and obstructing an officer, a misdemeanor. Officers reported the minors for obstruction of an officer and entering a vehicle with the purpose to steal to the Department of the Juvenile Justice. According to the police, the 16-year-old male suspect is also accused of possessing a firearm while committing a felony and possessing a firearm before the age of 18. Additional charges in this case are still pending and is still being investigated.
We'll be right back after a message from our sponsors. Here at O'Neill's Consulting and Training Services, our team focus is to walk with our clients every step of the way to accomplish your financial goals. We provide several accounting and advisory services, starting with financial statement preparation, personal and business taxes, payroll, and workforce development classes. O'Neill's Consulting and Training Services allows you, our client, to measure your success by seeing results. Contact us today to set up an appointment. O'Neill's Consulting and Training Services, accomplishing your needs together. The City of Albany, Georgia Community and Economic Development Housing Counseling Services are here to assist you. We offer pre-purchase home buyer education, post-purchase counseling, rental, fair housing counseling, mortgage default loss mitigation, and financial literacy. Counseling includes financial budgeting, negotiating with the lender for a repayment plan to prevent foreclosure or a loan modification, identifying alternative solutions to resolve clients' mortgage delinquency and stabilize his or her financial situation, helping the client understand the foreclosure process. For more information, contact B.J. Jackson Burton at 229-483-7650 or contact B.J. at bjackson at albanyga.gov. Or if you're in the neighborhood, stop by our office, Micro Business Enterprise Center, located at 230 South Jackson Street, Suite 315, Albany, Georgia, 31701. We look forward to serve you. Remember that fair housing isn't an option, it's the law. The Albany Mall staff members and visitors were alarmed by a fire that broke out outside the Books of Millions store on Saturday afternoon. Authorities on fire team verified that an incorrectly disposed cigarette butt was the origin of the fire. According to mall employees, people raced outside with extinguishers to try to put the fire out. The trees were still burning after the fire had been put out for two hours. The fire caused no damage to any vehicles or buildings and nobody was hurt, according to the Albany Police Department. The police department released a statement. Thanks to all of the citizens who pitched in to help control this fire while the fire department was en route. If something like this happens again, they just ask to make sure you're safe and not endangering yourself. Thank you for tuning in to Rapco Media. Until next time.